Okay, here we go. A little college Q&A. Who's ready? Awkward because he can't reply. Let's just jump right into it. So on my Instagram, I asked what you guys wanted to see. I love interacting with you guys and making videos that you guys want to watch because obviously that's what I'm here for. So make sure that you follow me at jamie.itt. It will be linked in the description below because I do interactive polls and like Q&A things and feedback on Instagram. I love feedback. You could also leave it in the comments. If Instagram isn't your thing, leave it in the comments. Love the comments. So I got a lot of requests for making a college Q&A. So we're gonna do that. Let's start in the beginning. So Julia Early said, and I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong, said, was it hard being away from home or was it easy to get used to? So this is all gonna be my personal experience, obviously. I can't speak for everyone. For me, it was easy to get used to being away from home because I knew that I was coming back so soon and because I've always been a pretty independent kid. Zaina Farah says, how to get along with a roommate and what it's like living in one small space. As you guys saw in my residence hall tour, if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description below. I am living in a very small space with another person. I think it comes down to communication, getting along with a roommate, saying what, what time you go to bed, if you like to study when it's quiet so that they know those things beforehand. So definitely try and talk to them a lot before you room with them to figure out if you guys are the same, if you have the same living habit and odds are you're probably going to disagree about one or two things with your roommate at least just because you're living in such a small space with one other person skater for 500 skater 4500 how would you pronounce this you guys said how do you not get lost when trying to find the buildings the classes are in so I don't know how to answer this because I got lost a lot. At least at CSU, there is tours that your RAM welcome leaders will, and that will make sense once you're here, you guys, that your RAM welcome leaders will take you on. At least for me, they took me through the whole campus and pointed at every building that I would have a class in. And then it was just a matter of like finding where my class was. Like if it's a 100, it's on the first level. My comp class was like a seven and it was just in the basement. Leave for class 20 minutes before you should. I left for class so early in the first week of school because I was like I can't be late. I started walking the complete opposite way the first day of school. I am up on top of campus and I started walking farther up instead of down towards campus and then I realized wait there's houses so I'm not great at directions but I'm sure that you guys will be better. Use your RAM welcome leaders have the map on your phone there's a special app for new students that you will download at RAM welcome. Moving on. Maddie Nicoli asked how did you manage social life and school? This is a great question. So not gonna lie it's a little bit difficult because I am the kind of person that likes to say yes yes that sounds fun yes let's do that let's hang out I have a test tomorrow but let's hang out Studying with friends is a great put the two and two together if you can do that I love doing that I love just meeting for coffee with friends because then it's like a 30 minutes to an hour and then you can go back to your homework with some caffeine really just like be honest with yourself I like to write down and schedule people in my planner like I am a little bit extra my days are pretty busy I should do another day in the life that shows you guys next semester because I am busy but I love being busy but the way that I manage it is I make use of my time when I am studying so like I'll put my phone away and I will study four days before the test instead of the day before usually and then I feel like I can say yes to more things because I'm more responsible um, and then sometimes I'm just like no I gotta study sorry and everyone understands. Megan Brennock asks, how did you choose CSU? So, I wanted the sun, I wanted the snow, I wanted a big school, I wanted an inviting school. I toured here and I found out that it had all of these things. That's why I chose CSU. Advice for people who are having a hard time in college. I would say do more things that make you uncomfortable. If you're having a hard time in college, go to events next semester. Go to events when they're having all the events. Join a club. Ask people to hang out even if it makes you uncomfortable. Find something that you really like on the campus, like whether it's like a certain route that you like to walk or like a little place that you like to go to study. Look forward to things on campus and try and get really involved. Getting involved is a huge part, in my opinion, to how your experience in college goes. What you put in is what you're gonna get out and if you're not 
not willing to put anything in, you might not get that many great things out. Anyways, someone asked, do you recommend rooming with someone you know or a random person? So, there's definitely pros and cons to both sides. I would say, if you know, if you want to room with someone that you know, think about if you guys have had sleepovers before, if their routine is the same, if they like get along well with you. If you guys have had many fights in your friendship, I wouldn't recommend rooming together because if you guys are prone to like not getting along or you just randomly don't get along, rooming with someone that you know could ruin your friendship. But on the flip side, if you get along with them super well, if you guys are always having sleepovers, you're just like, I really want to room with them, period, then do it and it might bring you guys closer but just be aware that living so close to someone especially if you guys already have like a past of fights can bring up things really easily i know people who have great, had great experiences living with someone that they know and people who have had very bad experiences with people that they know but that's the same for people that you don't know so living with someone that you don't know there's an opportunity to make another really good friend there's also an opportunity that you won't get along with them just know yourself and be realistic and make a selfish decision not a decision that's gonna take your friend into account as much like don't be like oh well she really wants to I don't really want to but I'm just gonna say yes because I don't want to ruin the friendship I know a lot of my friends have said no to their friends rooming with them and they have been totally fine like just be like hey I want to make another friend why don't we just go in the same hall and then we can always hang out or something like that so it's kind of in between totally up to you but that's my little two cents on it is rushing scary so watch my recruitment video I go super in-depth in it for me I was a little bit scared, not gonna lie. I was scared. But you shouldn't be as scared. I don't know, it's not horrible, but it definitely is a little bit nerve-wracking. Lana Povsik, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, said, what's your favorite thing about college, about, about your college experience so far? That was really hard to say. Just like being able to figure out who I am and like figuring out who other people are. I feel like in college you really learn a lot about yourself and meeting new people, so too. Addison Peters said, why not OSU? I'm sorry, Addison. I'll come visit soon. Oregon State is a great school too. I just, I just got a feeling here and I had to feel, follow it. Rodeo Ray 4 said, what's the most difficult and best thing about being in college. Time management, if you aren't good at that, being responsible on your own. I've seen a lot of people struggle with time management and responsibility, so definitely practice that in high school. You know what I mean? Don't have your mom remind you every time that you have a doctor's appointment, like put it in your own planner. Um, I did that, so that wasn't too difficult for me, but it still is kind of difficult. And then the best thing about being in college, in my opinion, is the freedom. So the freedom is both the worst thing and the best thing. Grace Fearborn said, where do most students hang out and what do you and your friends usually do? So I don't think there's an answer for where most students hang out. The dorms, maybe? Everyone sleeps in the dorms and people like get ready in the dorms so like a lot of people are in the dorms for a lot of freshmen and some sophomores and some other years but what do me and my friends usually do? We usually study and eat if I'm being completely honest and watch like funny videos online like TikTok. I'm sorry I literally made fun of TikTok but now I spend hours watching it. Can anyone relate? Yeah eating, studying, watching funny videos, sending them to each other, wasting time and then getting stressed out. Huh. Kind of kidding, kind of not. Dylan Birch said now that I'm in college what classes or subjects subjects in high school were pointless. I'm going to take a different approach on this question and I'm going to say what classes were helpful. So I'd say taking a wide variety of classes was really helpful. I realized what subjects I did like and what subjects I didn't like and I feel like that's what high school is all about. Don't just take the easy route. Take classes that you think that you might be interested in in high school. Also AP classes really helped me. We didn't have IB or IV, whichever one it is. We didn't have it. We had AP and I took a few of those classes. One, it helped me get my scholarship to CSU and two, it helped me develop study habits so that college isn't as difficult for me. I now have a four point my first semester. Hopefully I have a final today and all week, but if I keep those up, I'm either going to have like a 3.9, four point. So I feel like I was very prepared before college in my study habits. And if you guys want, I can make a video that's all the things that I learned about how to study for a semester and in high school. That helped me achieve a good GPA my first semester of college. Jaden Schneider said college is essentials and dorm essentials. A computer, college essentials. I really don't use a lot of notebooks. Um, caffeine. Actually, hold on. Little piece of advice. Um, 
don't start drinking White Monster because otherwise you'll be like me and um, need one. I don't know what's in there. I know it's not good for me. We don't need to talk about it. Don't start drinking them because they're too good. Julia Ng asked, so he said LDR on the question, like a long distance relationship. And then I asked him more specifically what he wanted to know. And he said pretty much like, how is it being in college, not being in the same school, having different friends now. So as you guys know, or if you don't, if you're new, hey, Cormac is my boyfriend. So we went to high school together. This is just on my wall. Here's us at prom. And we were kind of constantly together senior year and stuff. So then we went from being together all the time to being in college. So I think some of the reasons why it's worked so well is that we trust each other so much. We, we communicate a lot over the phone. Or I try and talk about Cormac and bring him up just like I did in high school to my friends. And some people are gonna really make fun of me for this, but like, He's literally my lock screen. So he's here. Here's Cormac. It's my e-boyfriend. Just like honesty, trust, seeing each other, setting a date to see each other, talking about them to your friends, and knowing their friends. Those are five tips that I would say if you are doing long distance. This video, I wanted it to be kind of short, so I'm gonna not answer any more questions. I'm so sorry if I didn't get to your question. Maybe I can make a part two, you know, who knows? But I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to A Ram's Life. And thank you guys so much for the questions on this video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to put an input for future videos. Yeah, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope that this video was helpful. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.